Metabolic Bone Disease The skeleton is not simply an inanimate scaffold that supports the body, but a living, metabolically active organ. Thus, the structural integrity of the skeleton depends on the metabolic processes of its bony tissue. The adult skeleton consists of two types of bone, cortical and trabecular. Cortical bone, compact or lamellar bone, forms the outer shell of long bones and the major portion of the cortex of other bones. It accounts for 75% of the total bone mass. The femoral neck is about 75% cortical bone, the mid forearm about 95%. Trabecular bone, spongy or cancellous bone, is formed by a network of intersecting plates, trabeculi, which in turn form the supporting infrastructure of bone. With its greater surface area, trabecular bone is more metabolically active and thus more sensitive to changes in the biochemical milieu. The vertebra are more than 66% trabecular bone, with the center of the vertebral body being about 95% trabecular bone. The distal forearm is only 25-30% to trabecular bone, and the femoral intertrochanteric region is about 50% trabecular bone and 50% cortical bone. At the cellular level, Specialized osteocytes affect the constant modeling and remodeling of bone, and the osteoclasts resorb existing bone, while the osteoblasts form new bone. These two closely linked processes are responsive to metabolic influences and to external agents and stresses. And that's metabolic bone disease. Have a great day.